Jesus, damisha weta inkwe nu hivi tramatimba leringa hensa kama bete ukwao rahosi ane su Kriste, Amen. Kula munga kona ba wana milis bedlele, ba wana milika ya, ba wana milika isolation, self isolation, skwembo skali sembeki. Ashkatale ku meleka shi moshi 
Shimo shimwana shimwana. Le shim kaka shona tiban makakure amweshe. Diranda kumiti wisa le shako. Dami randa. Hinkwenu kamwena. Dimi nabelela. Rihanyule rinene. Dimi nabelela kuwa mihola. Dimi nabelela kuhumelela. Dimi nabelela kusula. Eka hati challenge si mkwatele timi sangana kana tona. Osi aibu na mwena, na muda, kuna rutrashi kuwebolere na ba ku minikarona, kusuka kwa Isaiah chapter ten, hida sa verse twenty four ya fika verse twenty seven. We'll be reading from Isaiah chapter ten, from verse twenty four to twenty seven. The word of the Lord reads as follows. Therefore. Thus says the Lord God of hosts, All my people who dwell in Zion, do not be afraid of the Assyrian. He shall strike you with a rod and lift up his staff against you in the manner of Egypt. For yet a little while, and the indignation and the indignation will cease. As my anger in the destructions, and the Lord of hosts will stir up a scourge, a scourge for him, like the slaughter of Midian at the rock of Oreb. As his rod was on the sea, so shall he lift up. He lift it up in the manner of Egypt. It shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder, and his yoke from your neck, and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing. Let us pray, Father. We thank you for the reading of your word. I pray that, O、oh、God, that you bless each and every soul. That is watching and listening, in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. Amen. I want to address you, beloved, under the topic that says overcoming the spirit of fear. Overcoming the spirit of fear. Kushula moya wakchaba. The whole world today. Is facing the enemy that is invisible. He leku loeni, misaba yanguai. He loani na la loe hakoto kumbona. Sitelengo vile shula vile waka na la loe. Kamiga ni mchele les. Shikwemba shaina. Shikwemba shama tiba yanguau. Shikwemba shaina. Shinindle la lei. Shinga ye ende la ba na shona le shaku ba shula na la loi tani le sh anga wana kiki utirisa charera kuchawa fear is the weapon that this enemy is wielding against the whole world we all know what fear does. But today, the Lord has provided a way; He has made a way in which we can face this enemy, even though He is making use of this weapon of fear. We're gonna take a look at how we can overcome this spirit, how we can combat this spirit of fear. Fear paralyzes action. Fear makes its victim hopeless and powerless. All the energy is drained, both physical and spiritual. That is what fear does. But thank God, there is a way 
in which you can deal with the spirit of fear. Beloved, the word of the Lord that we have read today is providing the solution. God himself is saying to his children, all my people who dwell in Zion, do not be afraid of the Assyrian. Do not be afraid of the Assyrian. Yes, he is about to afflict you. He is about to punish you. But you don't understand that the Lord is preparing a scourge against you. God was to deal with him decisively. Oh yes, this was a relief to the children of Israel to know that in the midst of these challenges, in the midst of these serious threats, there is a solution. Oh, hallelujah. Now, what should we do, beloved? When the spirit of fear attacks us. What should we do? I believe that each and every one of you is eager to learn, to find out as to what one should do when confronted with the spirit. Number one. Number one. One need to stir up the lion that dwells within you. Beloved, stir up the lion. Stir up the lion that dwells within you. Jesus is the lion from the tribe of Judah. And this Jesus dwells within you. In the book of Genesis chapter 49, Verses 8 and 9. The word declares that Judah is a lion. And as a lion, who can rouse him? And the word Judah means praise. And now it means that when you are confronted with the spirit of fear, the first thing that you need to do Stir up the spirit of praise. Stir up the spirit of Judah within you. In the midst of fear, in the midst of terror, you need to choose to praise the Lord. Shift your focus away from the source of fear. Even though you might have received the result that you are COVID-19 possible. I mean positive, I mean to say. After receiving those results, put them aside. Lift up your eyes upon the hills. Praise him. Praise the one who is your healer. Praise the one with a solution. Shift your focus away from your pain, from the results. And praise him. Say to him, Lord, in spite of all this, you are powerful. You are wonderful. You are even greater. I glorify you. I thank you because you are my healer, you are my solution. Praise him even in tongues. Continue for some times. In no time, you will be so amazed. You will realize that the spirit of fear has vanished. The more you focus on it, 
the more you scrutinize the results, the more you become afraid. Beloved, stir up the spirit of praise. Alone, alone. Remember how you used to worship the Lord together with the saints. Turn that room into a mini church. Praise him. Praise him. The spirit of praise is like a lion. When the virus roars at you like a lion that is roaming around seeking whom he might devour, you need to wake up, stir up the lion of Judah who is mightier and greater than the coronavirus. In the mighty name of Jesus, dare to praise him. Praise him. Even if it might be difficult when you start, continue doing so. Genesis When you praise, you put, you strangle that sickness, that virus, that disease, that problem. Strangle it by praise. With praise, I mean to say. Strangle it. Deny it the air. Deny it that air of breathing. Strangle it. You're going to be victorious. You're going to overcome. I strongly believe. I strongly believe that fear is going to flee. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Fight back. Attack the enemy. Hallelujah. With the spirit of praise. Number two. What should I do? When the spirit of fear attacks me. When fear surrounds me. What should I do? Number two. Fight back by confessing what God is saying about fear. Fight back by confessing what God is saying about fear. Saturate your mind by meditating on the word of God. Talk to yourself. Pela kuchava oxygen level Fight back. Bulabana when we Uti Bjela. Hallelujah. Ukuri. She quembu shamina. Shina minam kare. Why? My God is always with me. I am not alone. Davida. I declare like a Psalm 23. We have got the verse letting a lehansile. Verse 4, verse 5. Kukwalaya. Akriye. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. I'll fear no evil because you are with me. Because he is with me. Because he is with me. 
Ninta chava kanja nina. Ninta chava kanja nina. Hiku shikwe mbushina mina. Mkare nkwa hiyo. Ekaba Hebrew chapter 13 verse 5 and 6. Verse 5 and 6. Ritrash kwe mbu. Riri. Ningaka ninga mitiki. Ningaka ninga mitiki. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, beloved. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Believe it. Believe it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Believe it. Believe it. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh la dimakashi kepere. He will never leave you or forsake it. Thank you. I mean to say, believe it. Believe it. Fumela. She fumela hosha sokuri. Angaka angakutsiki urueshe. Oh my God. My God. My God. Verse 5. Oya matena kuri. And therefore, I will not fear. I will not fear because he has promised me never to leave me nor forsake me. Ani chavi. Ningaka ninga chavi. Ningaka ninga chavi. Hikuwa untempisile le shabuni. Angaka angani siye dirisuwe. Luko kuchava kufika. Fight back. Inye impile. Fight back. By confessing what God is saying about fear. Akaba Heberu, chapter 13, verse 5 and verse 6. Hikumale se shikwembu, she suhulaka, logo suta emakeni ya kuchava. Logo shikwembu, she tembisa kuwana mna mkare kwayo. Shana nda chava inina. Oh my God, hallelujah. Number three. Shannon, in the final go end, I in the key. Logo kuchaba kufika. Number three, make use of your personal prophetic promises to fight your enemy. Make use of your personal prophetic promises. Teresa, lefsi shi kwembu singa suvula shi shi bjela wena kuna lefsi. She kwembu she subulaka. She ku she ku away. She bjela away na son. Shinga hawa sweeta yo profeta. Kumbe sweeta hilo kukaru usarito. Kufkala ukumaka versing one lay you wula ulaka na wena. Tiwala shakure. That is your special prophetic word. It's a personal word. Eritole takawena. Oh, hallelujah. Teresa ritororia. Oh, yes. She kwembu she wule leshi. She kwembu she bte ekamina. Ungaka ungafi. Uta hanya. Uta takusa ukulubja she kwembu. You will not die. But live. In order to proclaim the greatness of God. Dinga kan dingaf. Ditahanya. Leshoko. Ditlako sa ukule Oh yes. Ya ema shwen. Shana nifana ku enda inena. What should I do? When faced with fear. When I feel afraid. Number one, remember the kind of spirit that has been given to you. Remember the kind of spirit that has been given to you. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. The word of God declares, you have not received the spirit of fear. But God has given you the spirit of power and of 
love and of sound mind. Awinyiki wanga moya wakuchawa. Ina hamble wakuchawa kugongonda. Loko muna agongonda anyangwenu. Asubule shaku ungenile. Na kuchawa loko kugongonda emseke tuene emoyene. Asubule kuseku ungenile. Kambi loku munu apfumela kuchawa lokuwe agu ina esona se kuchawa kangena. Loku munu agongoda nyangwene. Loku uku kam in. Uta pula rivante angena. Se, kusula mwe wa kuchawa. Loku kuchawa kufika. Ti bjele uku hei. Mina and Nikwanga won a Mayoa law. Maya Chava and Nikwanga. I have not been given the spirit of fear. Your spirit of fear have no place in me. You have no accommodation. You have no part in my life. You are not welcome. Access denied. You are denied access. Spirit of fear. You get away. In the name of Jesus. Speak that with that spirit. Jela kuchawa koloko. Ekuru akuna accommodation ya wena. Landen kamina. Kuna moya matimba. Spirit of power. You have that power. As a child of God. There is a resident power. The power of the Holy Spirit. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God. He lacked up. Isaiah 10 verse 24 to verse 27. Hey. The last verse declares. It shall come to pass. On that day. That his, and his yoke. Shall be. Destroyed because of the anointing. Jo korta so warta he receive he ko kwa lao ka anointing. Emati imba ya lao. Lao enga na wona. We have the anointing that will destroy the yokes. In the mighty name of Jesus, stir up that anointing. Stir up that power. And destroy the spirit of fear. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. I am kelanga mwaya wa kuchawa. I am kelanga mwaya wa kutoya. Hambi maslo maga kukombisa. Siri lesa ku esukuru kutlampi mu inge shishuli. Kumbe nala abahu wale ikulu kumangopu. Unga pfumeli. Unga pfumeli. Unga amkele kuchawa. Au amkele nga moya wa kuchawa. Kambi moya wa matimba. Kumari simri nga. Ishula. Ishula. Hima timba. Oh, hallelujah. Kateko yeso wa hishulela ha wike aukensa hallelujah yeho oyusiya ina number five he enter ini shana na na ukucha kufika. Remember that your God is more powerful than anything you fear. Your God is more powerful than anything you fear. Talk to yourself again and say, my God is more powerful than this thing that I'm fearing, than this sickness, than this disease. He's more powerful. And therefore, I shall not fear anything. I shall not fear any evil. First John chapter 4 verse 4. 
Greater is he that is in me more than the one that is in the world. The one in me is greater. Is greater. Is greater. Believe it. Believe it. Lastly, number six. Remember that as a fellow heir with Jesus Christ, God has assigned a supernatural bodyguard. Oh my God. For your protection. He has assigned a supernatural bodyguard for your protection. You find that one. In Psalm 91 verse 11. Oh my God. Cheer up. Children of God. There is a supernatural bodyguard that God has assigned for your protection. Let us quimble. Oh, my God. Enkarin wolo wuya. La uchabaka. Tiwale shaku. Orhander wile titsum. Orhander wile titsum. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Karin wolo uchaba. Vela juze shkwem. Shkwem na wukensa. Hikuba oni rande lile hitin tsumi. Tin tsumi tamina tin rande rile. Kwa la shi belele. Kwa la unga kona. Orhander wu hitin tsumi. Kwa la ka rumi ya leyo ya isolation. Kwa la ka rumi ya leyo. Oh, orhander we hiti nzumi. Tzaka wana wa shikwemu. Tzaka utaki sisa. Aweshe. Aweshe. Hivit rama timba ra jesu. Oh yes, hallelujah. Shikwemu ashika kufula matitu. Shikwemu ashika kutata. Shikutata hai kufumela. Shikutata hai matimba. Ufumela shaku aweshe. I wish I can get it. Every twenty, Ramatimba, Rahosa and Sucreste, the Congela Baba, the Congela Maqueru, Lavanga Bombela, the Congela Maqueru, Lavanga Pretoria, the Congela Maqueru, Lavanga Echani, Lavanga Epidisbeck, Epulukwani, Egiani, yes, Hallelujah, Eli Pompo in Quaikayona, E South Africa in Quaikayona, M. Savin. A Britain, USA, Kuana Kuan, Bama Quer, Kuala Menga Kwa, Dam Congelela, Dam Congelela, Shikwembo Ashmitati, Himatimba, Lawangata Kula Kuchav, Minga Chavi, Minga Chavi, Minga Chavi, Tinsumi, Tirumeruile, Kutam Randela, Timi Sirelela, Minga Chavi, Minga Chavi. Hikwa mnyikule moya wa matimba. Mga chavi. Mga chavi. Hikwa mkulu loi anga kamwina kutuwa langa msavini. Aleluya. Mga chavi. Mga chavi. Hikwa ngala ya juda. Yikona ente ni kamwina. Yipfumelena yibonga. Ayibongi ngale ya juda. Release the roar of the lion of the tribe of Judah. When you praise God, when you worship God, you release the roar. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. When the enemy roams around, roaring like a lion, seeking whom he might, he might devour, you also need to release the roar. The roar. The roar of the lion from the tribe of Judah. That roar is in you. That line is in you. You can release the roar as you worship God, as you praise Him, as you clap your hands. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I command that spirit of fear to leave you right now. Come out of that house. Come out of that room in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Touch, touch your forehead right where you are and say, I receive, I receive the peace of God, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, receive the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. Receive the spirit of faith. Dare to believe that you are not alone. You are not alone. You have overcome the spirit of fear. 
May God should bless you. Shikwamba shimkate kisen. In the midst of lockdown, may He provide your daily sustenance. In the mighty name of Jesus, may your business flourish, both small and medium uh, businesses, even the mainstream ones. Uh, may you prosper. In the name of Jesus, may your house be filled with peace and harmony. In Jesus' name. Even those of you who will be burying your beloved ones, may the Lord strengthen you. May He comfort you in Jesus' wonderful name. Hallelujah. Let us look forward to a time when we're going to come together again in different places. So those, those of you who are in Philadelphia who will be gathering here in this house, maybe, maybe in, in Bombela or, or, or Chani, that's fine. May God richly bless you in Jesus' wonderful name. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Oh yes, hallelujah. Even those of you who are sick, receive your healing. I nearly forgot to do this one. Receive your healing right now. Those of you who are sick, be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen.